I want to show you the most important thing that you should do when you enter your poultry house. This is what you should always do when you enter your poultry house. You need to know how your beds are doing. So this is the most important thing you should do when you reach in your poultry house. So you do this. So first, you need to make sure you have gum boots for biosecurity reasons. You don't just have to enter with any shoes. So let me show you what you should always do each and every time when you enter your poultry room. These are the first essential things you should always do when you enter your poultry house. This is very important. You need to make sure you do this. So the first thing you do, you check out first the poop down. How is the poop looking? It's diarrhea. You need to check the droppings of your beds. So you need to make sure you check everywhere. This is normal poopoo. -poo. That's how normal poopoo -poo is supposed to look in a poultry house. You need to, 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 to know that like, this is the way poopoo -poo is supposed to look. When you check, then you find like uh, the poopoo -poo is very fine. The next very thing you're supposed to do is to wake up the beds. You make sure you check all the beds. All the beds are healthy, all the beds are behaving well, you need to check that. Each and every morning when you enter the poultry room, each and every, even in the afternoon and in the evening, you need to check to make sure that everything is okay. Just like a business person, when they enter their store, they need to check if their products are okay. So they check everywhere, they need to check, make sure. Because you're doing it, this is your business, you need to check your stock, how it's doing. Then you need to check, uh, I just had to put feet before I started making the video so the, the other face the other thing that you're supposed to do is to check your feet how it is uh, how the vegan and how far it is so this is what you do now you check now how your beds are doing you wake them up all of them you need to check you can't check all of them but at least you need to see them moving from the other side to the other side to make sure like all the beds are moving you know beds can show signs like they are not okay the way they are moving the way they are walking there's no excitement if they are not okay so here we go we need to check how now the beds are doing so first let's go around we see i want you to i want you to see very close how these beds are able to move then you'll be able to tell like okay these beds are healthy so as you take a look how they are moving this is very 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 much okay so you take a look this is how the beds are looking so you need to make sure they go a little bit halfway so that the moment you are going the other side they'll be able to go the other side so you need to make sure you check all that to see how the beds are moving as you saw the way i was moving the way the beds are moving but you can tell that these beds are very much okay they are made very much fine and they are so energetic so if there is any bed which is sick here i'll be able to tell so let's move on the other side to see how the beds are doing so if you take a look check just check the way the beds are moving if there's any bed which is not moving just know like these are signs of uh, a bed having a problem but as you take a look at the beds the way they are looking like this these beds are very much in the you see? That's how beds are supposed to move in your frock. When you just shake them up. Each and every morning you need to check the stock the way I'm checking it. So we have moved the beds and we've seen how they are looking. So I've got my thermometer down there, as you can see it. So now there's a dropping that I, I saw, which is uh, different. I need you to see it so that you're able to tell like, okay, this is okay or this is not okay. So, there was a dropping somewhere here. I think upon me moving the beds, they've stepped on there. So some others are like this. Okay, though they are not clearly seen, but this is okay. This is a proper sign of the beds are healthy. So, have you have seen guys, all the beds are healthy, all the beds are so doing so fine. So everything in my frog is very much okay. The feed when I came in, as you can take a look, I've just filled up the feed up to the top. That means I have to find the feed was down, it was finished. So now I had to put 
another feet. So you've seen how the beds are supposed to behave when they're very much okay. They need to move. If you see any bed which is not moving, you, you need to know, you need to take notice like, okay, this bed is not okay. Then the other thing that you need to do, you need to stay quiet and listen to your beds because beds can tell how they are feeling. So you need to listen first. You keep quiet, you listen, you hear how they are sounding. So according to this sound, the beds are very much okay. See? So as you saw the way I moved to the beds, they are moving all with so much energy, which means your beds are very much okay. So you, you are guaranteed like your beds are okay in the morning, you check out your stock, your stock is very much okay. So now, let's take a look now, we see how the beds are doing. So the other thing, not just moving them, you can take a look at the beds everywhere you see all the beds almost every bed you need to take a look at it so that you are able to tell that okay, the beds are finally very much fine this is correct so let's see let's move around we check how the poop looks there's some poop that i've seen which is strange so we need to take a look at that so i need you to see that so that you see like okay these are signals or these are not signals so we'll take a look and uh, because we changed the feet so sometimes the droppings change color when you're changing the beads because of the the proteins and the fat and the carbohydrates which are there they have a different level and they are measured in different differently with the first uh, phase of uh, feet which is starter so let's take a look how the droppings are looking i'll show you so that we see so when you check on the temperature here yeah, the temperature can show you like it's at uh it's at uh, 29 so this is good so this is how the beds are looking i can't see okay there's this poopoo -poo here you can see this is a normal poopoo -poo for your beds your poopoo -poo supposed to look like this so that's how it is check your frock each and every morning make sure your beds are okay make sure your beds are fine so because i was moving them that's why they are frocked together so after some times they are now be everywhere because they, they think like i'll still push them out so guys make sure you check your beds each and every morning first to check the sound because the sound might uh, not be good you know respiratory problems then secondly check the poopoo -poo down thirdly move them see how they are moving if they have so much energy or they don't have energy most beds which i seek they move in a way whereby you don't like even the move, you can tell like, okay, this bed is not okay. As a poultry farmer, you need to tell. So this is business, which means you need to make sure you check your flock. You make sure it is properly checked, especially with the droppings, the poo, poo you need to check all that. Even uh, the feed, the consumption of feed, you can tell like, okay, yesterday I left it like this. Now today, how is it? You need to tell. There, there should always be a difference according to the days. They need to eat very fast. Okay, I found the poopoo -poo which is a, uh, which is strange. So this is a poopoo -poo which is strange. This is the uh, some signs that I need to to be aware of because this poopoo -poo is not uh, okay. So I need to check. Most of the time I need to, to come up here and check all the beds and see how they are doing. So guys, make sure you check all the surroundings. So as I was saying about the feed, you need to know like okay. My beds are feeding so much, so much, so much. According to the way you fill up your feeders, within hours you're able to tell, like, okay, there's a change, okay, there's no change, which means there's a problem, which means you need to take adequate time to check on your beds. So always, this is something that I'll always emphasize. Make sure you check your beds. Don't just come in, then go out and uh, forget, like, your beds are okay. No. Make sure you check all your beds and see how they are doing. So I've got another video that I, I talked about uh how you can know and notice your beds when they are sick before they start dying that video is very essential to you make sure you check then you'll find the video up there you are able to watch and then you are able to tell because this same information that i'm giving you right now is the information which is there so make sure you you do and check that video so that you are able to to get some some ideas and uh, you have you know we need to rain each and every day that's the way it is that's how poultry farming is so the other essential thing you need to to take note is uh, the smell. You need to make sure the smell is okay and you need to make sure like uh, uh, there's no smell of ammonia in your poultry house. 
make sure the smell of the pochi is very very much okay and uh, you are able to breathe when you breathe in like you need to tell if there's ammonia in case you are not aware of ammonia you it's it, it sometimes it irritates your your eyes when you enter the pochi room you find like uh, your eyes are not able to see clearly because they are irritated with the ammonia so make sure you also check and take notice of uh, the smell make sure the smell is uh, okay it's, it's those are also essential things you need to check on guys uh, make sure you check your flock make sure you check all your beds and make sure they are fine so that you are guaranteed like okay my beds are okay the droppings are okay everything is okay the appetite is okay according to the feed the way it looks according to the explanation i've given you you are able to tell if your beds are okay or if your beds are not okay because I I am um, I get tired and I get irritated. I don't feel good when I see a pochi farmer complaining, saying my beds are dying. I don't know what the problem is. It's because you don't check your beds. That's the reason why you don't know what the problem is. If you check your beds all the time, you are able to tell. If you've checked thoroughly, like the way I've checked my beds, all those steps that I've taken, each each and every step is important there. Okay. So I've showed you the temperature, I've showed you how the poopoo -poo is, the surrounding, the way the beds are moving. You need to make sure all that is set. Check your beds each and every morning, evening, three times if you need to. Even the time when you're closing the poultry, you need to check. Just like a business person does. They go in, then they check all the beds and see they are doing. It's a stock. You need to take a stock taking. Oh, the beds are okay, okay, everything is okay. But the first thing a business person does is like, before they open up the store, they pray. So I didn't mention that, but this is the first thing you need to do. As a poultry farmer, you need to know like you are a business person. That means you need to pray first. It doesn't matter which religion you are in, but each and every business person prays first before they enter the poultry room. They are businesses stores. So even you, you, are, you should pray before you get in. Then you start checking all those things. So those are essential things you need. So make sure you do all those things. Then I guarantee you there is no problem with your poultry. Just a quick reminder, guys make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any lesson that we upload on this channel especially if you're a poultry farmer make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any lesson because each and every lesson that we put in here every lesson that we we upload here is essential for your poultry farming it may be it might be helpful for you to subscribe so that you watch each and every lesson so that you are always updated what you're supposed to do what's supposed to know about poultry farming so thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe and like the video if you like the information Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.